nice room, comfortable bed. Everything worked. I'm going to pip in here how fast the Wi-Fi was. I think it's the fastest Wi-Fi. I don't want this trash. Jesus, dude. I think it's the fastest Wi-Fi I've ever had in a, uh, in a, in a, in a motel. So, we'll open up our shot. And, or you'll see the opening shot and we'll see what's next. Good morning, guys and gals. This is the 10th of October of 2023. This is, I just, I just thought of this. Hold on now. This is another, oh, this is Life with uh, Yosef. This is your host, Joe. Thank you for coming by again. Another one of my travel uh, vlogs. This is uh, long, the Long Ball uh, 23 Extravaganza. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Number six in a series. I am in Austin, Lander County, Nevada at Stokes Castle. And this is a pretty curious place. I'm sorry about the truck in the background. If I kill the truck, I'm gonna lose my Spotify. So here's the sign here. Anson Phelps Stokes owned mines and railroads of a prominent Eastern family, built the castle as a summer home to his sons. Now the, then the family said it was the tower, not the castle. So um, let me, it was built in 1897, except for maybe two months, and then maybe one other time it has been unoccupied ever since. Um, this was a, uh, uh, a tower that Anson Stokes had seen and admired near Rome. This is roughly the, uh, that was the architectural model. Um, the original building had three floors, a fireplace, plate glass windows, balconies, and a battlemented terrace on the roof. Now I'll see if I can't dig up some pictures of that or not. Um, this is an absolute icon of rural Nevada. So it is on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, my God, it's a beautiful day. God almighty, yeah, I'm telling you for the 9,000th time, indigenous summer in Northern Nevada is a good time to be here. It may be a window of two or three weeks, but now's the time. So we're gonna putt through Austin a touch and get out and run some film and We'll see what's next. I'm gonna get out right here and run a little film. But I'm gonna point out that the plate on this car turning around, look at the uh, letters, it's L-A. Back in the day, well, first off, this is the internet, <laughs> squirrel. This is the International Hotel. It's a cafe and a bar. It says it's open, there's a flashing uh, light, so, I don't know, but here you go. This is a famous place, and this is at Maine and Cedar. You could also see something burned down here. I'm not exactly sure what, but I'll see if I can't dig around and see what this is uh, about. So we'll drive up the street to touch and we'll see what's next. I'm going to have to look in the manual and see if uh, there's a way to, uh, to kill the motor and, not, and still have the power on. We used to call it accessory back in the day for those of you of my vintage. I want to point out here, oh, well, first off, the uh, L L.A. Uh, back in the day, Nevada used to issue its license plates with the county designator in the front. A number of states uh, do this, mainly out west. Kansas has a sticker on their plates for th th their county. California, I don't think it's ever done that. Um, Lucky Jeans is a modern brand, so I'm not quite sure why that sign's here. And here's another closed cafe, the Silver State and the Saloon. Looks like the paper, the Silver Enterprises looks empty. I think some of this may have moved at the Battle Mountain uh, when the seat was moved. 
anyway old signs golden club you see the cord sign now for you uh, youngins cords wasn't sold I think west of the, or east of the Mississippi. So it was, at the time, it was kind of a cult to drink Coors if you weren't out here in the west. And the whole premise of Smokey and the Bandit was that snowman, Jerry Reed, the, the, the greatest driver in Hollywood. And I'm gonna a link to, uh, to the song. Oh, Jesus, I can't think of it now, but uh, um, Eastbound and trucking. I can't think of the name, but I'll look it up. Anyway, they're hauling a tractor trailer full of cords to Texas, you know, because you you can't buy it east. So, God, that thing's noisy. I'm sorry about that. I don't want to lose my music. So we'll see what's next. This uh, trading post and gold and quartz. This looks like it used to be a garage that. Um, semicircle arch, uh, I think, is a giveaway or a tell for garages, auto auto garages uh, built in the 20s. Hold on, let the car go, uh, go by. This church, I'll pip in what it is. Um, you see some uh, the, uh, grandmas yesterday. I I came up here and ate. I got in, I took a nap, and then I woke up, and they closed at eight, uh, eight or uh, nine, so I got up at eight, about eight, and uh, the food was good. I had a, uh, I had a quesadilla with chicken and bacon and cheese, and it was good, and they sold me a breakfast, a burrito for the morning here, because nobody in Austin serves breakfast. So there you go. 1864 building here where the Magnolia Gallery is. Then the old uh, Mason's uh, uh, building. Hold on, uh, there's some plaques. Uh, let me walk over. The uh, hall was uh, chartered in 1864 and it is on the National Registrar of, of Historic Places. And now I'm gonna show the fire station right here while I'm standing in the street and we'll drive up to the courthouse. We'll pass by the other famous church here in town. Here's, you can tell the gas station or some type of gas. It, well, you, uh, you see the food mart sign, but you know, times are tough out here in rural Nevada. Here's a more modern Lander County Sheriff's Office. Uh, now it's a substation since the seat moved to Battle Mountain. Here is the Lander County Courthouse, built in 1869. We are on the Lincoln Highway. This is one of the reasons we're, we're out here. And, hold on. Here's a better shot of the fire station with one of the bay doors open. You see fire apparatus and the EMS. And I'm gonna walk right out here in the street because there's always traffic when I film. It doesn't matter where. But here you can see the, uh, used to be a garage, used to be a gas station. You know, you, uh, there's no missing this uh, oval poured concrete, which is where the pumps were. I don't think I've ever seen pumps like right in the dirt. There may have been at one time, certainly, but I, I don't ever recall seeing that. So we're gonna drive up the hill if, um, and uh, with the road footage, I'm going to talk about some plans and stuff. And we'll, I think we're done here filming and we'll see what's next. The night before I, I filmed this, this was Monday night now. Once I got in the room and had internet, I was, I went ahead and decided to make reservations for every day out. And it turns out, and I'm going to pip it in here, that there's an eclipse on Saturday morning. And it's all over Nevada. And every room I could find from Elko to Lovelock on Friday night, tonight now, as I'm making this, was um, full. And Ely also. Ely was like three or four days full. So, hold on just a sec. 
As I go for full squirrel here, I'm going to point out that here on the left, right when I stopped, was the uh, uh, one block over was the Gridley store. And Rule Colt Gridley auctioned this bag of flour in 1864 to raise money for a disabled Union veterans. Uh, 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 in the precursor to the American Red Cross. And I've seen a couple of different figures here, but it looks like as it was won at auction, donated back, resold at auction, and moved across a number of states in the West, I've seen the figure as high as $275,000 raised, and that's about $1.95 million today. So that is your rural gridly flower story, and now back to the hotel. Now it turns out there's a eclipse visible from much of Nevada tomorrow morning, Saturday. I'm editing this on Friday, and every room in Ely has been sold out for three or four days. Well, I I saw this on my Facebook feed for White Pine County Tourism. So I thought, well, that shouldn't be a big deal. Well, I didn't realize how big of a deal it was. Anyway, as it turns out, Thursday in Elko was sold out. I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, Thursday in Elko was sold out when I checked out. They were sold out for Wednesday at the hotel I was at. Thursday, which was last night, they were already sold out in Winnemucca when I got there. So... It turned out to be a pretty more of a big deal. I couldn't get a room from Lovelock to Elko on Friday night, and that altered some of my plans. And now with my wife having a firmer idea with her care, I was able to make some decisions, and I went ahead and made reservations on the apps, mostly the Wyndham app, but every step of the way out, so... That's the hotel story and why that I was kind of unprepared in Austin. And we will now see what's next as we get on into Eureka.